Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. And in this episode, we're reaching the treasure inside of Madarame's palace. Hopefully, we'll see how things go. But yeah, the lasers are still off, which means now we can start our real infiltration into this museum. Sweet! The security's still down! I just said that, but thanks to all my hard work. Huh? What do you mean by that? <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Come on! Let's keep going. Yeah, thanks again, On. Your sacrifice was... Anyway, let's just keep on. <laughs> it's such an awful scene, but it's so funny because Yusuke is so smart and yet so dumb, as you'll come to soon find out. He's a one-of-a-kind character, oh, honestly. And it looks strong. Doesn't get enough love. Yeah, he looks strong, Anon. I don't give it two dumps. I'm past it. And that brochure. I want to collect them all. Ooh, do you think that could be another pamphlet? Let's take it with us, Joker. <laughs> I plan to steal all your pamphlets, hey. even though I only need one. Hey, ain't the pamphlet different from the one we got before? You're right. It says it's the second out of two. Yes. Whoa, fractions. Oh, and this has the rest of the map. Now we can use it to figure out where the treasure is, right? I suspect it's in the innermost point of the palace. If that's the case, it should be here. The most suspicious spot seems like the main hall here. It looks like. Hmm. We will need to pass through the lounge and the gallery in order to reach it. The deeper in we go, the tighter security is going to be. You to advance carefully, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna run around like a dunce, but uh, no. <laughs> this part could be a little tricky if you have uh, insane mole vision like myself. Like seriously, I'd be 100% screwed if I also didn't have supersonic hearing. Also, wow, look at that wall. It sure is pretty. Hmm. I'm, I'm very tempted to go on a art-themed tangent, but honestly, everything I've said about my art legacy has been said before on this channel. Just know that, uh, yeah, drawing the female figure, kind of tough, kind of tough sometimes. Joker. Yusuke is pretty cool in that regard. I'm, he, he could do something I couldn't. It feels like I might touch them accidentally. Let's be careful when we go through here, okay? <laughs> I don't give a damn, bro. Treasure Check this. Aw, oh, crap. I actually should be careful. Yeet! Aw, oh, crap. <laughs> that was not planned at all. Anyway, corpse burn. I was like to call them the onion chickens. We miss. Are you effing serious? Okay, I really need to recruit this persona, and this is not going my way. Morgana's shaking up. He's just laughing at us. Dude, I, I did it for the vine. Whatever. I'm mad. All right. Let's knock these chickens down. They have access to fire skills if we level them up enough. And curse damage. Those are two things we don't really have on Joker quite yet. And stop it! I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the Lord Mother Brown. I don't give a dump. Join my team, you chicken. Literally. Now let's talk, okay? Well, I gotta find out if you're weird and that. What? This one seems I'm not weird. Don't say anything too cool. Just can't draw boobs. Uh, uh, I can't believe you're fighting a kid like me. Pick on someone your own size. You're a big bully. Don't you think that's immature? Uh, now that you mention it, I'm not mature anyway. Uh, I actually don't know what to pick here. I'm going with that. Hmm, really? You look like a grown up. I'm just a kid though. Hey, how come you've been coming here? I want to know. <laughs> It's a very complicated reason. Listen, uh, I'm doing a date right after this. Oh, that didn't work. Crud. I don't know. I'm really confused. Would you leave me alone if I give you... Dang it. We didn't get him. Crud. We'll have other chances to get this shadow later in the dungeon. Would have been nice to get it now, but... Ah, well. What can I say? I'm not a smooth negotiator. If only there was a confidant that helped with that. There totally is. We'll get to that eventually, but... For the time being, we got a mini boss fight ahead of us. If you have Jack Frost, the fight is yours. If you don't, good luck. Just don't use any wind skills. Hey, there's a strong looking one over there. We've seen that kind before. His stance conveys the notion that he is no ordinary foe. I think the control room's behind him. He's probably guarding it to make sure nobody gets too close. However, we'll need to disarm the security if we want to ensure we have a safe infiltration route. Forcing our way through seems to be our only option. Are you ready to do this? Hmm? Who are you? How did you get in here? You expect me to move just because you tell me to? I'm afraid you're sorely mistaken.
All right, there's no way around it. We gotta deal with this bald man. And his magic conch. The monk of the valley is a very powerful Tengu. Unfortunately for him, the people right next to him are not. So we can use Yusuke's Bufu skill to knock them down just like we did in his awakening fight. And because of that, fighting the main guy is going to be a whole lot easier. So since I have a free turn, I'm gonna go ahead and use Giant Slice on the middle guy. Then when it's Joker's turn, which it is not yet, we're going to transition to that. If we get lucky here and get the crit on Lucky Punch, that would be a phenomenal. But as you'll soon find out, that skill is very, very unreliable. But when it does work, it's great. Oh, snap! No way. This is really nice. So he's going for the Tarukaja on the main guy, but it should not matter because we can just get the technical with on. We could potentially go for the Maragi here, actually. And shoot, I might as well do that just to get these guys out. I could have baton passed and done things a little bit different. You brought, you brought another one back? Even though that's the main thing causing you duress? All right, go for it, bro. <laughs> but yeah, this enemy, the main boss, doesn't have any huge weaknesses to take advantage of, sadly. And you know what? Let's actually just baton pass to Joker. I think Jack Frost should be able to do enough damage with a uh, Mabufu at this stage. The reason we even brought this specific team comp is just to really deal with all of the enemies we're fighting. Sadly, Ryuji's Zeo skill isn't really going to come in handy, and I'm a little bit scared. Should we use Tarunda here or not? Nah, I think we'll be fine. If we get another uh, freeze, we'd be fine, and we did! Oh my gosh. So I was planning to go for the Dor Dormina, but that doesn't really matter. We'll just go for the physical to get the technical. The game's really trying to hammer home. Yo, you know those technical attacks? They're kind of crazy. Should probably use some, and I feel- what? No! Crap, we missed. God dang it. Uh, that's really bad. I gotta have to improvise. Alright, Lucky Punch connected, though. Good for me. Let's, uh, Baton Pass over to Joker. Baton Pass is so good in this game, guys. I really like how they, uh, spread the level a little bit. Unfortunately, at the moment, Joker doesn't have the best personas. We'll be remedying that very soon, once we exit this palace, actually. So far, dude, our team comp is... Doing pretty great. Yusuke's missing a lot, but also the enemy just cannot hit Yusuke with physical attacks because of his special trait. So everyone's just dodging like crazy. But we won, and we got Medea, skill card. What's the skill card? Hush your mouth, I'll tell you eventually. Be patient. God, I wish I had more magic on Jack Frost, but oh well, we won. And hey, what's this thing do? Whew, that guy was tough. I guess that's just par for the course in a palace. It really was on a totally different level from the other enemies, though. Hmm. He dropped some sort of card. Skill cards. You can transfer skills from specific personas over to this thing with the help of Yusuke. But he doesn't necessarily have the prowess to do that quite yet, so just hang on to them for a while. What's this for? I've never seen anything like it. Ain't it just some kind of loot? Come on, let's get back to exploring. You're just so nonchalant. Bro, it don't matter. It's just a collectible. Don't worry about it. But no. If you use them properly, they can be incredibly helpful. But it appears this is the control room for the security. Sweet. Let's turn that crap off already. Yeah, I'm getting really tired of the lasers. Can't really see them. It's hard. I have mole vision. Please input the password. Uh, another one? We'll just have to look for someone else who might know it. Yeah, bummer. It's uh, not going to be that easy. Unfortunately, hello does not work here, but if we come around and- <gasps> I missed a treasure! Give me that crap! Yeah, alright. <laughs> like, seriously, they're great. You want to steal them whenever you can, and- I hear the intruder already got past the central guard in security. Yeah, I just got a call earlier to change the password here, too. What to? It better not be simple. Well, I was having some trouble coming up with a good one, so uh, for now I set it to the numbers from Lord Madarami's feet. <laughs> Lord Madarami's feet? What are you talking about? Let's get back on duty. There's a chance the intruder's are nearby. Dang it! Hmm. And spill the beans. Madarami's feet? The heck is that supposed to mean? Maybe his shoe size? Yo, Fox! You know that guy's f shoe size? <laughs> I don't know. Unfortunately, I've never heard him mention it. Are we sure that is the proper password? Hmm, Madarami's feet. What do you think that could mean? 
No, I know exactly what it means because it's the identical puzzle from the last game, but uh, let's try and do this correctly this time. Face the other way, sir. Thank you, and I'll be on our way out. I know there's treasure right there, but trust me, now's not the right time to grab it. And uh, after you view that scene, I kind of like this detail. Now there will be two additional guards in this area, the same guys in that cutscene. Ah, the attention to detail in these palaces, man, they're so great. I really, really love them, and if you could be a bro and actually not do that, my god, he's so annoying. We want to backtrack a bit to this Madarame statue and read the sign, oh, because that's where the feet are. Yeah, get it? It's a puzzle. It's kind of clever, actually. There's something written here. Here we praise our most holy lord, Madarame, the one ray of hope in this depraved world. He stands alone as his two adept hands paint into the future. None shall ever match his excellence. <laughs> yeah, okay. Pfft. He's really puffing his chest out here, ain't he? Hold on a moment. Could this be the spot of Madarame's feet that the security guard mentioned? Uh, it has feet. Oh, right. But isn't the password supposed to be a number of some kind? Hmm. I do believe there are numbers here, though. One ray of hope stands alone with two adept hands. None shall match him? That means the answer is 1120. Nice. Yeah, that must be it. Sweet, let's head back and shut down the security. Yeah, I kind of like that puzzle. It's very clever, but I wish they didn't spell it out for you, but I kind of understand why they did. But yeah, there's nothing left to do here other than just backtrack to the computer now. Okay, now that we got the password, nothing's getting in our way. All right, let's try the password we found. Okay, I use the numpad because it's easy. Password accepted. Disengaging security protocol. And just like that, all of the bars in this area will open up. Sadly, the lasers are still on, though. Whoa, that opened up all sorts of stuff. We'll definitely be able to get to more of the palace. Come on, let's get moving. All right, you heard the guy? Or the boy? How old is Morgana supposed Look, to be? It's not entirely clear. Chest. So you could waste one of your 14 billion lockpicks on this, but it's just a katana for Yusuke, which he will uh, be replacing very soon. So don't worry about it. But uh, this is kind of a dead end. What about this? Oh. This is amazing. What a giant painting that was probably plagiarized. Indeed. It bears such a bizarre texture as well. It's as though I could simply slip inside. What the? Yep. Okay there, Yusuke. What's going on? Uh, um. My hand. It actually entered the painting. So we can go inside of it. I don't see any other path for us to take. Let's give it a try. Yeah, so let's hop right in. <laughs> Weird things have happened in the palace, right? In. How dare you trample on my tranquil bamboo garden with those grimy feet. You shall not leave alive. What the heck was that about? What's up with this palace and feet, dude? Uh, we're probably just hearing Madarame's thoughts. There's no need to panic. <laughs> Madarame. <sighs> yeah, well, you'll get your revenge soon, Skull. Or, <laughs> what's, what is Skull a Madarame? Hold on, I meant Fox, but we're in another painting. <gasps> oh my god. Hmm. So this space is not merely one, but a multitude of paintings. Hmm. You're telling me they're all connected? Which one goes where? That we'll have to continue walking to find out. Joker. Can you spot the connections with your skills? Yes, I can. I can. <laughs> the way Morgana says that, I oh, just think foolish. of Dora the Explorer. Can you see the Phantom Thieves? <laughs> Sweet Darius calls us thieves, who dirty his heart. The one who has sullied the very nature of art itself has no right to accuse us of such a thing. Save your emotions for later. We have to keep moving. Come on, he's an artist, Morgana. That's like his thing, but... No, this uh, gains us access to the rest of the hey. museum. Don't go staring my I butt! What are you talking about? <laughs> God, this, this game and its dialogue. So yeah, originally you couldn't get past here, now we can. How about that crap? But uh, before we enter the safe room, I wanna open up a little bit of a shortcut. Mm -hmm. If this guy will cooperate, that'd be really cool. I swear, the most stressful part about making these videos is just sometimes the shadow AI just being completely ridiculous and unpredictable, but 
I guess that makes sense. They are enemies, right? So now we're kind of returning back to where these two chests were before, and I might as well fight this guy. Didn't actually plan to do that, but maybe we'll get to fight the chicken again. God dang it. There's actually a handful of shadows I want to encounter and kind of talk about, but we've yet to run into them. But as I was saying before, hey there, buddy. You're just not going to say anything? Okay. There are two chests here. No reason not to pick this one up. Has Dizzy Vial. That could come in handy, maybe. But the other one has a lockpick. I recommend Whoa. using one of your lockpicks for this. This is a fantastic healing item to pick up. Heals your entire party. 100%. Sure, it's only one use, but hey. Never know when you might need it. A bead chain. Definitely a good pickup. Highly recommend that over the Yusuke Katana. Yeah, you can sell the Katana. But eh, not all about that. Really more about the... Uh, Stuff that we can craft and buy. Might as well take this guy on, too, since your true I haven't really been doing a lot of fights in this episode, and I still want the chicken. God dang it, it's a Calamity Shadow. That's not going to work. All right, so we got Noe, which we're not high enough level to recruit, unfortunately. I'm going to bust these chickens. I forgot, honestly, what the demon is called, but I know for a fact it's like a evil chicken spirit. But it has, like, a dumpling head, or is it an onion? But onions don't have the title on whatever. Let's just Mabufu these guys down. That should trigger the Calamity. Ooh, wow, he's actually not done yet. Whoa. No way is kind of tanky. So, we still got to deal with him. I Do we really need to conserve SP? I might as well. I mean, it's a tiny, tiny amount of, like, HP left. I didn't equip the gun. Bro, I still need to do that. But it won't really matter in this episode. I'll make sure to do that before we actually fight. Well, the palace ruler, which, yeah. Spoiler warning, even though we're thieves, we are going to fight a boss. Okay. I know, crazy, but now that that's done, the safe room's up ahead. Don't mind if I do a little quick save. All right, now my safety net is in place. Just in case my PS4 decides to randomly explode, it's a bigger problem than I'd like to admit. Let's head into the remainder of this museum. And what? Another gallery? Wow. I'm shocked. Huh. More big paintings just like the ones we saw before. There's something off about these, though. Yeah, they suck. Look, there are even two frames with no paintings at all. Mm, why don't we go take a closer look? If only there was a way to get there. Heck, I don't even know where to start. If only there was a clear instructions, <laughs> but <laughs> no, uh... You think you're smooth, Madarami? I'm gonna steal your crappy portrait no matter what. I wanna highlight, uh, especially in this palace, all the treasures that you can obtain and sell because chances are you didn't get regent and you might wanna grab them before leaving. And as I mentioned before, they can spawn in some of the uh, additional treasures, like the one all the way down there, which I'm going to kind of ignore because it's out of the way. But here we are, the painting puzzle. And ain't this just like the last time? You know, with the secret passage inside and everything? Hmm. It looks like these ones are all completely different. What to do? Or even frames with no paintings at all. Well, we'd already said that. That is strange. But we don't have a choice. Let's go, Joker. Okay. I want to ride the camel. The tiny one looks lonely. Alas! This world is a desert! Of a layman who cannot understand true beauty. The slow drain of my skill is inevitable. When I am surrounded by such a mediocrity. So he's gonna go blame the world for his decline in skill? Huh, bet he never had any real town to begin with. I mean, other than painting the Sayuri, yeah. What else has he done other than steal? The gods, even in their dormancy, are worshipped constantly. People gather in a shrine gate, offer their money, and return home fully satisfied. Art is practically the same. In the end, it is all just a matter of imagination. Huh? Even if that's true, that doesn't give you the right to be deceiving people. Also, the god analogy, dude, kind of bogus. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we gotta go underneath the gate ourselves, and... Hard work is not what makes a sapling grow thick with green leaves. Too many young people do not see the true value in youth these days. What fools. Is it truly wrong for an expert such as myself to capitalize on the youth before it wastes away. What the heck? Yes, he's basically saying he's a jealous of young people. Look at me. I was turned into a cat, but I'm still fighting. Age isn't a valid excuse. 
Yeah, for real. I mean, come on, veterans are skilled too. What's your excuse, Matarame? Sounds like you're just kind of lazy, but what do I know? I just painted a entire picture with a press of a button. Whoa. Hey, pretty good, Joker. I mean, look, another painting. Hmm. So passing through one hidden route is the formation of another. What an elaborate ruse. It's highly likely there's a new path through the paintings. We should investigate, Joker. Yeah, I plan to, Yusuke. Don't sweat it. I, I'm not one to give up that easy. Unless it takes me three tries, then the puzzle's too hard. Wait a minute, this camel! It looks familiar. We're back at the first freaking one! So they're not connected exactly as they seem. We'll have to keep trying until we find the right way. Yeah, so... It's a little tricky, but seeing as I've done this before, I kind of have a good grasp of where I'm going. Cut a ship, skirt across the ocean, have its crew had to constantly worry about what sea life may lie below? Art, life, water, they're all identical. The one who ascends to the summit is the victor. So he's using all these pretty words, but he's basically saying people are like stepping stones. It's just what, like what he do all those kids crush. What a piece of crap. Yeah, for real. <laughs> God dang it, Ryu just got me saying it. But this is the path to get to the next switch. We need to press. Touch. And there it is, the final painting. I almost said final portrait, oh. but no, that that that's a landscape. And another painting. <laughs> there is no longer any empty frames at this point. And there's a new path again. Let's get in there and check it out. Yep, so all you gotta do now is a little bit of trial and error to find the last area. We need to head back to that kind of lush, foresty segment. Last time we passed through the gates, we're going to do the same again. And this time all I gotta do is climb up this mountain and just kind of go into the background, which is off screen. And here we are, the exit. Beauty is merely a mirage. Transforming that into money is what brings about true happiness. My fine mansion, my lifestyle among the chosen few. Those things are the true art. So running your titty out of a shabby rundown shack was simply an act after all. How foolish I was to have been deceived for so long. Fox. It's like what they say is true. Never meet your heroes, but... Man, Matarame was even more than a hero to use games. It's like it's everything. Oh, this sucks. Hey, sweet. That's got to be the end. Ryuji, we're sad. What the? How despicable. We've encountered so many of his paintings. Yet not once did he mention a love for art. These are no paintings. They are just meaningless self assertions placed into picture frames. I'm excited to see how the change of heart alters him. Let's go. Now let's hurry and probably get to that. <laughs> yeah, so. That's a nice little diversion. I actually really like it, but uh, here's one thing I don't like. This next stretch of uh, palace could be a little tricky if you don't get to this like part fast enough. That little bit of cover, and hopefully we encounter the shadow. I want to see. There he is, Long Dog, Inugami, which is a kind of good shadow to pick up. I wanted to get Corpse Bird. I don't really care anymore. Inugami. I'm more of a dog kind of guy than I guess a bird, but I don't, I've never owned a bird, so how would I know? We're gonna pass the baton over to Morgana, because Inugami is actually weak to wind skills, which we have on a good chunk of our party. We don't want to damage him too much, though. We gotta be kind. I forget which uh, personality type he is, but I'm pretty sure he's the scaredy cat type, even though he's a dog. So we knocked him all down. Oh, gosh, hopefully this goes better than with the chicken. Hey, buddy, let's talk. Let me hear power. Let's talk. Once we understand you, me, lend me power, you. Scared. What? Uh, Soothing human? You dumb! Yeah, I know. This territory ours? Why do you keep trampling here? What you humans thinking? Uh, should I take my shoes off? <laughs> we want to be kind, so yeah, let's go with that. No more talk! Now you apologize! Dang it! Me wish me could eat human food once before me die. They want to ask some recommendations, so me can at least imagine. Um, hunger is the best ingredient? These options suck. Bread soaked in coffee? Ugh, but then again, he doesn't know it's gross. Mmm, sounds good to me. Me also like that and seems soft. 
Me not sure why, but you not seem like stranger. <gasps> me remember, I am you, you and me. Inugami will join it. Why not make him sound like a demonic Scooby-Doo? That was freaking weird. Inugami of the Hanged Man Arcana has access to a physical skill I kind of want to grab. So, as a general rule of thumb, if you have too many personas with you, just get rid of the weakest one. We can resummon Pixie for like a little bit of money when we need to continue On's confidant. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Now the actual hardest part of this is uh, not getting seen by the, I call her the librarian shadow. She's up ahead, which is kind of scared of. We also got to deal with this guy if I want to get this treasure. Uh, I mean, you could get past it if you take your time, but I don't really want to do that. Oh yeah, we already have this one on, okay. It's another Shikigami. They're pretty tricky. We're probably gonna lose somebody here, but it'll be fine. We might be able to dodge something with Yusuke's, uh, you know, Persona's trait, which is super strong, by the way. Just want to throw that out there. We, um, huh. I guess we could actually take this turn to debuff now that Jack Frost has that, and instead, uh, get the technical on on, which will knock down this foe, and it actually didn't. Crap. Uh, that's unfortunate. We don't really have much to do on, um, Morgana's turn? No, Morgana missed. Please dodge. Please. No, Yusuke. Dang it. That really sucks, but what are you going to do? I haven't mentioned this yet, but if a foe is debuffed, your all-out attacks also do more damage. So this is going to hurt a fair amount. Unfortunately, we lost our second user of Freeze, so this fight is going to be rough. Let's maybe try and put it to sleep and get a technical that way. Yes. All right. Healed a little bit, but I'm totally cool with that. Let's, um, hmm. Instead of doing anything on Morgana, Morgana's physical stat is not super strong. Let's just toss it over to Joker and get another knockdown. Why the... He got the funny number. Let's just keep spamming all that attacks. When you can't use physical attacks, what else can you really do? So there's some points in times where, yeah, using... um, diff I'm just going to go for the attack. Using technicals in a certain way are more beneficial. And Oh, thank God he dodged that. That is really helpful. This is what uh, this specific shadow is all about. He wants to taunt you to force you to attack him. However, you can't do that because he nullifies all physical damage. And what is up with Jack Frost doing 68 and 70 damage and all the numbers in between? Kind of wild. And yes, despite Ryuji not participating in that battle, he's still got a tiny bit of the EXP. With some confidants a little bit later, we'll be able to uh, increase okay? that amount. And oh god, that sounds really, really scary. We got a Hiriana, if I pronounce that correctly. I'm sure all of us would be surprised, because other than saying Ukiyo-e art, I don't think I've said a single thing correctly in this playthrough. <laughs> I'm being honest. Some of these Japanese words are hard. Crap, crap, crap. Dang it. That really sucks. Okay, what are we working with here? Oh god, this is awful. We gotta deal with Nuwei, gotta deal with a chicken. Oh my god, this is rough. Okay, if I if I play my cards right though, we should be able to get through this fight without getting hit once. We gotta really baton pass it over to On though, and then she has to not miss two Aggies in a row. This is, oh, she can't do two Aggies in a row because we baton pass. All right, let's do the Miragi then, which is a fire attack that hits everybody, allowing us to get the all out attack. So we made the most of a pretty dicey situation. I'm lacking on our team comp so far. That wasn't enough, though, to take down Nuwei. He's going for the Mahaya, and that's going to knock out a lot of our teammates. Wow, this sucks. Okay. I forgot to heal Yusuke up. My bad. That's just been the running just theme of this palace, bro. We'll be all right, though. One more. Ought to do it. We could potentially not go for the all-out attack and use another Aggie, but you can't actually miss all-out attacks, which is why I find them pretty reliable. And Oh boy, back up. All right, this is bad. Let's, um... Oh, God. If we miss a single attack here, we're done. We gotta Let's go for go. it, though. I am backing down. On, you're by far our most dependable party member. I hope, really hope you got this. Do we have anything else that can deal with these guys? Not currently. Our current personas are kind of cruddy. I might want to swap over to a high defense persona. Unfortunately, Slime is weak to fire, and well, these guys use a lot of fire. Let's instead go to this Inugami, and actually, yeah, that's fine. Then we can baton pass. Bear with me. Hard mode can be a little tricky. Sometimes you gotta plan your moves very carefully. Then we'll go for the Garu. Hopefully, we are faster than the Jack Frost. We are, which means we can get the Aggie, and we did it. Hopefully, this is enough damage to knock them all out. If not, we're in 
We're in a lot of trouble. Okay. It's me and Ana versus the world, literally in this situation. No, the Inugami survived! No, she can go again. Thank God for On. Such a god tier party member. I love her. <laughs> Platonically. Let's move on though and heal up our guys. Let's uh gosh, that was really scary. Not gonna lie. This is uh kind of been a rough palace for me, cause just cause I refuse to heal anybody. And also it's hard mode, so we're good now. Burning through some of uh Morgana's SP is totally fine here. Now on to another uh, kind of tricky fight. If we don't get a crit here, it could be a nightmare. Hopefully we do. This is the uh, new shadow that shows up in the- No! You're kidding me. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, so we have Ame no Uzume in the center. Currently, we don't have a way to knock down the shadow. But on top of that, Inugami is in the back there, and he's a Calamity Shadow. That's so- mm, This is going to be rough. Hopefully we can crit- the shadow in the center, we did it! Thank God. Let's uh, baton pass over to um, On, because On has a higher magic stat currently than Morgana, and try and exploit. No, we could do this. We could hit this one, baton pass again, go to Morgana, and hit even harder. Holy crud! I'm got I got some plays today, guys. Hope you're ready for that. This is all what Persona 5 Royal is about. We got the all-out attack. I'm actually happy in hindsight now that the Inugami showed up to this fight, because fighting Ame no Uzume by herself could be kind of rough. Unfortunately, we didn't get the uh, treasure for destroying the Calamity Shadow, but it's all right. We got some muscle drain. It's kind of gross, but I'll take it. And uh, this is a new segment. There's some fake Sayuris. I kind of like that attention to detail. And this is actually where we can find some new areas. If we come over here and where, okay, there it is. <laughs> My um, sense of direction is kind of bad sometimes. We can go down to a, another layer and inside this layer is where the next will seed is. But unfortunately, it's blocked off. How do we get over there? Well, that's pretty simple. Let's do it like this. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could have done those in <laughs> completely different orders, but Look, what can I say? I'm used to doing things a certain way, so. Pressing this switch lets us get the next will seed. Don't worry, it's not the hard one. We're gonna fight a boss. Those are always last in sequential order, so. So far, we're doing pretty good. We had some kind of rough fights, but I'm okay with this episode. <laughs> I try not to be a perfectionist, but sometimes I'll be in my editing chamber and I'll be like, dang it, bro. You got hit twice! What are you, a pleb? But that's just me as a person. I, I still like to have fun with videos and the sort. Just, I don't like getting hit in Persona. You know, we're thieves. We should be stealthy and, you know, moving around all the time and collecting potatoes. That's what Arsene would do after all. But, dude, our SP is looking so good, man. This crap's easy mode. It's actually not. If we get hit one time, we're dead. You know what I mean. We're doing great and uh the remix music should let you know yeah we're not in kansas anymore what the frick <sighs> what the heck is up with this place there's so much gold it's hurting my eyes can you turn the saturation down real? distortion's especially bad here it's barely holding up plus it's not even on our map so we must ascertain the truth through our eyes alone that's one way of putting it. Yeah, Yusuke. <laughs> so, this is an MC Escher style area. Kind of like it. It's definitely the highlight of the palace in my mind and really showcases, you know, just how much the Persona team has grown, bro. Like, what the crud? I remember the dungeons in Persona 3 just being, you know, repeats floor after floor. And now they're so unique and just, like, tailored to what the palace, like, owner is all about. Bro, it's awesome, but uh, what's not awesome is repeat battles. Oh yeah, we, oh snap, we got Maruki's flow. Okay, nice, so you're about to see a lot of damage. So we already know what these guys are weak to, but you haven't seen what a concentrate does. Concentrating when using a magic attack or charging when you use, I missed, god dang it. Charging when you use a physical attack actually may, makes you do 2.5 times the damage, meaning it may take two turns to build up to. Oh my god, are we? What are we doing? It is well worth it. This is what makes focus and charge and, you know, concentrate so powerful in the Persona and SMT series. It's just more damage per turn. You literally can't go wrong. Unless you miss. Like, I apparently do all the time, but. Oh yeah, we haven't seen this one yet. Ooh. It was fun while it lasted. Goodbye.
<laughs> so okay. Yusuke. Gosh, she's such a fun character. Child's but play. It really wasn't, though. Seeing as we missed a lot, but where the heck do we go? I'm all lost, but seeing as this says wall question mark, I think this is where we want to go. How could this be? I thought I'd seen everything there was to see of this distorted world, but I think it would conjure up such a bizarre place. So, like, which way are we supposed to go? I didn't see other any other ways forward, did you? Huh? Uh, what's this? <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> Whoa! Part of the wall was peeling, so it just pulled it off. This wasn't an actual wall? I see. So it was camouflaged. We may have been trapped here for an eternity, have you not noticed that? Uh, nice I don't know about going. that, but... Nice work, Skull. You did it. Uh, sure. You know, I just got lucky, right? Listen up. There might be more walls like this up ahead. Let's keep an eye out. And speaking of keeping an eye out, I'm 55% sure I missed a treasure. Should be right around here. Yeah, I did. Good thing I remembered. A black rock, which is an accessory that we can't really use yet. We haven't unlocked that feature in the velvet room. But picking it up here, it's like a freebie. Might as well, bro. Can't go wrong with that. Whoa. Did, did we just warp? It seems even the paths beyond these apertures are distorted in the same way as this room. Uh, that's one way to put it, I guess. Yeah, it's a kind of warping puzzle. It can be a little tricky since we don't have a map and all, but the true puzzle is right here. Can you spot the difference? God, this is an episode of Dora the Explorer. Hey, look at this. Why is this painting here? It's probably some kind of illusion. We're in a palace after all. Well, I guess the paintings themselves might be correct, though. B but... You say correct, but aren't they all counterfeit? Although maybe the real one's here, too. I wonder. Either way, the fact that this is here might mean it's connected to the space in some way. I don't know. Yeah, so this is a fun little, <laughs> just, I guess, memory test. Can you remember which Sayuri is the real one? This painting. Is it the Sayuri? Hmm, isn't that a fake? I mean, this is Matarami's palace. There's an obvious difference if you look closely. It shouldn't be too difficult to tell them apart. You could just tell us, Yusuke. Yeah, maybe it's obvious for you. <sighs> what do you think, Joker? This is the real one, because I know what it looks like. <laughs> that is correct. That seems you have quite the eye for detail, Joker. Thanks. Uh, for real? That's amazing! It's beautiful. The vibrant crimson clothes. Her beautiful hair. The sublime balance between subject and background. This may only be an illusion, but it is without a doubt a spitting image of the true Sayuri. And also our path forward. Despite it being the fake real one, it opens up the path. What the? It flew away! Yeah, it's going to do that. <laughs> so this is the other gimmick along with this place just looking really crazy. It's kind of nice. I like it. It fits with the thematics of the palace so well. It's so good. Oh, I love this game. Oh, isn't this somewhere new? Seeing past the false image has opened a path to the truth. Hmm. This golden place filled with counterfeit work is a prime example of the alchemy of Madarame's brain. And here, just in as in reality, he entraps those who cannot see through his lying facade. Uh, okay. Yeah, you might be right. No wonder the distortions here are so strong. <laughs> so, what does that mean? I think it means finding the real Sayuri should break through the distortion and open a path. So we just gotta keep checking them all. Okay. Why would we do that? Let's just look for the real one. Assuming we can differentiate it, which, yeah, we have the guy with us that is an expert on the subject. It shouldn't be that tough, but despite that, it kind of is. And so there was a hidden room here. Yeah. I'm gonna get this crap. It's even in it. I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, soul drop. Don't mind if I do. Madarame. <laughs> Surprised he isn't like, is this too also a piece of Madarame's bright? No, it's just an item. Hey. But is this a real Sayuri? Yeah, I mean, it's got the hair, it's got the twig in the back, you know, it's gotta be the real one. Whoa. Yes, this is the true Sayuri. But also, it's not the true Sayuri because it's a ball of light, and with it, it opens a new path. Just like before. And now, onto the hard part. <laughs> I guess hard is relative, but I don't know, I thought this was tricky the first time. Hmm. 
that don't look like the right one. I mean, it doesn't even have the hair over the shoulder. What gives? This one's just downright evil. See all these pictures, some are really obvious, and you're like, all right, it's none of those. And you see this one, and this one, but none of them are right. It's just downright cruel. It's actually behind the wall. What a just, mm. People that design dungeons over Atlas, sometimes they're just maniacally evil. Yes. Not as evil as Madarame, luckily, but uh, you'll get something at least out of it. Baptismal water, can't go wrong with that. A decaje, hey. it's always nice to have. And this is the real one, wow. think about it. That's the true Sayuri, nicely done. And with this, we will finally be able to get the heck out of here. I mean, not that I don't like it, but where's it flying off to? Well, we'll find out soon enough as the all the other fake ones just disappear. If we enter this path, we'll see something that wasn't there before. God dang it! What the heck is going on here? We have seen all the false images. Something must have changed somewhere. Yeah, it's actually down here. If you recall correctly, hopefully your memory is... Oh, crap, miss a sting of thing. Bro, it blends in with all the other gold. I almost missed it. Covenant treasure demon. Actually, I actually don't know if that's true. I don't think they can spawn here, but... Ooh, isn't this somewhere new? Just be careful, okay? The distortion's growing much stronger the deeper we go in. Yeah, that cannot be good. But, uh, believe it or not, we're done. And another safe room is just up ahead as we pick up another item we won't be able to use for a while. A nice little diversion. I like it. I wish there were more enemies to Isn't fight, though, that... but... That is... It's him! Matarame! Just as I expected. Matarame! Mm, that then, means... Is the treasure behind him? Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell from here. Let's get a closer look. All right, sounds good to me. There it is. Doesn't it look a bit hazy? For the time being. Once we send the card and make Matarame aware it'll be stolen, it'll materialize like, Yoo-hoo! I wonder what form it will take. Who knows? That is something like a self-portrait. The source of what distorted Matarame's reality this much. So, what now? Think it's safe to say we got a root set? Hmm. We know where the treasure is, but I'm not sure that we've necessarily secured the root. Huh? Why is that? You must be talking about the infrared lasers surrounding it. That, and the outer perimeter is swarming with guards. Forcing our way through will be difficult. So we'll need to find a way to steal it, too. <sighs> this is tougher than it was with Kamoshida. We just have to make one final push. Let's check this floor. So yeah, we've come real far, and the treasure's right there. But we're still not done. And this last little stretch is surprisingly difficult, so we gotta make sure we're 100% prepared. Hmm. Holy crud, what a dicey episode. I thought like 12 different times I was gonna die. Just, wow. I was scared for a second, but surprisingly on, I absolutely crushed <laughs> those times where Yusuke and Morgana got knocked out. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to just about do it for this episode of Persona 5 Royal. We navigated the maze of lasers, paintings, and long dogs, but we're not done yet. And this last part's the trickiest of all, so we got to make sure we're fully prepared. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode. Bye.